Yes. Ah, oh, Fred. <laughs> How are you? Yes, I'm at home right now. But why? Uh, okay, it's okay by me too. That was Fred. He wants me to go and meet him at the club. But that is past my mind. I know, but I think it's quite important. That's why he's calling me at this hour of the day. But he's lit. I don't like you going out at night. Darling, I know. But it must be business. If you insist. But you don't know when he'll be back. <sighs> Someday you will understand. Well, if you insist on waiting for him, I'm, I'm off to bed. Good night. All right, my dear. you want from me, woman? Where are you coming from at 2 a.m.? A good Christian husband goes to bed with his family and also wakes up to the morning sun with them! If you want to see the morning sun, go outside and pitch a tent. I'm sure you will not miss it when it rises. Good night. I should go and look for a job. I don't know how long it's going to take me to go for my master's. 
Be patient, Rose. You don't know what is waiting for you by the corner. <laughs> if I should be more patient than this, then my name should be changed to Patience. <laughs> Hi, dear. Something good happened. I actually came in with some money. Dollars. <laughs> Dollars? Yes. Apparently, they were even more in a hurry than I thought. So, they gave me some money as upfront. That's nice. <laughs> um, Dad, you remember the money I asked for? Can I have it now? Please, fix me something to eat first before anything else and remove that thing in your face. <laughs> that is not time yet. Darling, I'm famished. I can say that. Excuse me. I do the talking around here. Now, where is the money? What money? The dollars. Don't lie to me. Funny, are you talking about? Ask me a question. Now, she's best. Where is the money? Get out! Where is the money? Get out! Get out! Inside the room. By the left hand side. By the front side. Beautiful. Check it out. We'll retire you when you lie to me. Congratulations on the job well done. Yeah, thank you. It was brilliantly executed. Yeah. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Cheers. Stanley, that's for both of you. Thank 
um, thank you, Chief. Lawrence collected his share this morning. And boys, try not to draw unnecessary attention to yourselves. Hmm? Right. Once again, congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> cheers, come on. Yeah, cheers. I'll be expecting one. Well, what's the matter? I thought I'd be born in your pocket you're supposed to put you in a good mood. How can I be in a good mood? Tell me how when I've just been cheated. Cheated? How do you mean by that? Am I the only one thinking here? We ask yourself who walked into this building with dollars and now we are walking out with Naira. Oh, that? I actually thought of that. See, that's why I realized that Chief is a very intelligent man. Knowing fully well that after the operation, okay, the police will be watching out for those who will change dollars or spend dollars. That will be suicidal for us if we spend dollars. And that's why he has given us Naira. I, I, I thought of that. This man is good. He meant well for us. Come on, let's go. It's okay. Um, Rose, you could always stay with us. You know you, we love you. Stella is just like your younger sister. I know we might not have as much as you are used to. But we will do our best for you. I know my brother would have wanted this. My daughter, will you stay with us? Dream again. What happened? It's the dream again. It's okay. Don't worry. Very soon it will be over. Tired. I'm tired of the dreams. I'm tired. Mm. It's only six months now it happened. Just give it a little time, it will be over. I miss them so much. We miss them too. It feels like they just left yesterday. God will meet out punishment to them accordingly. But in the meantime, you need to get back on your feet, Rose. How can I move on? How can I when their killers are out there going about freely? I think they are free. But God is watching them. Yes. When last did you go out? Before the robbery, I guess. Look, Rose, you need to relax and mix up with people of your age. That is a better way to start. Have a night out with Stella. That will do you really good. Hmm? It's okay. Stop crying, it will be over.
Gentlemen, you're welcome. Please, what can I do for you? I'm Zakwene, chief. Hmm. I came about one of your properties that I read in the Acorn magazine. I'm interested in one of them. <sighs> chief Zakwene, yeah. what you read was nothing. Yeah. That's just the tip of the iceberg. You see, I am disposing of my properties bit by bit. But let me forward. I do not have any representative up there. I work only with my lawyers, whom I will introduce to you as we progress. God permitting, uh, they might be able to help you in other spheres of endeavor besides property acquisition. So, Chief, which of my said properties are you interested in? The one in Lucky Face 2. Uh, that should be the twin dupe on Fingesi. You are right. <laughs> chief, Chief, yeah. that's a beautiful choice. It shows you a man of um, impeccable taste. You can't say that again. <laughs> <laughs> chief, that twin dupe goes for 30 million naira, and that's a giveaway price. Besides, I also own six other buildings on that stretch, so the choice is yours. That's okay. I'll make arrangement for the payments tomorrow. Beautiful. Good. That's all right. We'll have your paperwork ready for you by tomorrow too. Uh, your check will be ready by tomorrow. Check. Ah, uh, Chief Zack of me. That's a problem. You see, as a rule, we do not accept payment in checks, as accounts for various businesses vary. Cash is preferable. Then cash it is. Thank you, Chief Zakoni. Nice doing business with you. You're welcome. Till tomorrow then. To go through the plans once more. I'm sure there's no need for that. Okay, fine. Listen. No mess ups. No mess ups. Just hold your sides. Stanley, the road was too hot, so we diverted. And the only place you could divert to was my house. With guns? How are you sure the police did not even see you? Sir, um, they, they did not. We made sure. Lauren, shut up! I'm sure it was your idea to come here. What if my wife were around? Uh, Chief, we knew she was not. And uh, we also knew she must have gone for evening mass. Even at that? Look, Philip, I don't want those things lying here. Take them and put them in your car now. Uh, hey, 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 hey. Are there guns in there too? Mm, no, sir. Sorry. Chief is there. Then why are you where are you taking them to? I said guns, not money. Good. Now, tell me, 
But how come the police were tipped off so fast? So I feel hard to shoot the cashier. Why? What's he been stubborn? My friend, why did you shoot the cashier? You people were supposed to go in and out of there within minutes. It was to this sir. Philip had to shoot the cashier because Stanley was almost killed by the cashier with the cutlass whilst he was making a phone call. Hey, listen, man. This is the last time I am going to tell you that I was not making a call. Rather, I was receiving a call, damn you. You almost got us all killed. I should have shot you myself. Shut up! You shut up in my house! Do that then first! How can you do that? You think you are? Shut up! Leave him. How are you boys doing? Uh, dear, I thought you went for mass. Yes, I wasn't feeling so well, so I decided to come home. Am I interrupting anything? No, oh, no. Um, uh, you know the boys, Stanley. Lawrence, how is your mom? I'm fine, thank you, mom. Good. Why don't we see you at mass anymore? Um, um I, I, I've been a bit busy, mom. One never gets too busy for God. Please say hi to me. I, I will, ma. Look, you boys are very, very stupid. Keep your personal problems in your house and do not bring them here. I set my eyes on your killer and I swear with the very last drop of my blood they must pay for their evil I swear they must pay I swear I will revenge when time is right I swear I will revenge Ooh, 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 with the last drop of my blood ooh, I will revenge ooh, With the last drop of my blood 
Can you? Hi, Stanley. I'm home. Oh, no, no, no. It's, it's later already. Let's say maybe tomorrow. Mm, let's say 12 1 if it's okay by you. All right, then. I'll meet you up there. Bye bye. Good night. I swear. father died five years ago. My mother followed suit a year later. I'm sorry about that. It's okay. I'm over it all now. So that means you're all alone? Yes. Me, myself and I. You'll not be anymore. Can't. I'll be here to take care of you. Don't promise what you're not sure of. I'm sure of things. I've never been sure of anything in my life. Mm. I was going to ask you, who are you staying with? I mean, the place I drop you off once in a while. My aunt and my uncle, and my cousin, of course. Oh, the one that uh, were together with that night? Yes. And who, by the way, is not talking to me because of you. <laughs> Why? She likes you and she can't forgive me for diverting your attention from her. And she ended up with Philip that night, who unfortunately is... Um, not the world's greatest gentleman. <laughs> she... She doesn't like him. I think she prefers you. Well, let's talk about something important. Um, Rosie, I'm asking you, please, why don't you move in with me? That way, I'll have uh, more time to take care of you better. No, thank you. You're moving too fast. Moreover, don't you think moving in with you is going to cramp your lifestyle? If it would, I wouldn't have offered. <sighs> Give it time, Stanley. We just met. Okay. Just... It's alright. It's just that I feel so much for you. Thank you. Thank you. Is that all you're going to say? Yes, for now. Okay, <laughs> for now. I'll hold you to it. For now. Hmm? For now.
stay at a height. Stella. Are you okay? Someone can enter into this house and steal anything. Mommy, the fact still remains that it is missing and I must find it. Okay, go and look for it. Go and look for it! And where are you going? To look for my errand. In Rosie's room. Rosie's room? <laughs> Doesn't she live in this house anymore? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous! She wouldn't mind me checking her room, would she? What is wrong with you? Good evening, Auntie. Good evening, Rose. How are you? Fine, thank you. Stella, is everything okay? Everything is not okay. Everything is not okay. In fact, I'm looking for my earring and I was just coming to your room to look for them. Coming to my room? to look for your earrings. You live in this house, don't you? But Stella, you know I wouldn't touch your earrings. I don't know. I don't, in fact, I don't even know you anymore. Stella! Come on. So you'll be there. Just come. You want to kill me, this girl, or what? I don't know. What is wrong with you? Stella! My God. Stella, what is this nonsense I'm hearing about you accusing Rose of stealing your earrings? But Daddy, they were in her room. You know, as much as I do that that guy is not a thief. What has gone wrong with you, Stella? Eh? Now listen, if such rubbish repeats itself again in this house, you won't find it fun with me. But Daddy, it's not fair. And your daughter, you treat her better than you treat me. Oh, because you don't know how much you owe her. You don't! You have to be very careful. Thank you. Have a seat. I had to pick something on my way. It's all. It's all. So, shall we? Where are we going to? The beach, the park, or better still, my place. <laughs> no, no. I, I'd rather stay here with you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I actually meant uh, I would rather stay here as in the atmosphere here is, is really beautiful. <laughs> all right. I understand what you mean. It's all right. So, um, what do you care for? Would they offer you a glass of juice or something?
Thanks for everything. I, I had fun. You're welcome. I had fun too. You are so wonderful. Um, so, when am I going to see you again? Anytime. I'll give you a call. You sure? Okay. I believe you then. I'm sorry. Maybe I'm moving too fast. I have to go now. Alright then, good night. Thanks for the night, anyway. Sorry, Uncle. I have to go. I can't stay here anymore. Is that because of what happened between you and Stella? Huh? Why should you allow that to make you try to leave us? You know that girl is a silly girl. And I have scolded her. Of course, we all know that she planted that thing in your room. She is my daughter. We have tried as much as possible to bring her up in a Christian way. But I hope you don't think that we believe her, do you? It's about me, Uncle. I don't feel same anymore. I just have to get away, even if it's for a while. Please. And where are you going to now? I have some friends in GRA. I'll be with them for some time. I really wish you wouldn't go. But I will try to understand. Make sure you leave your forwarding address when you are going. I will. God will bless you as you are going. Thanks for everything. Okay, you're downstairs. All right, I'll meet you. I'll be there in a minute. I'll soon go. I will help you, it's alright. 
everything is fine. Tell me what the problem really is. Is it me? No, no. You don't like my place? No, no. Nothing of such. I asked for your help, didn't I? Any other wouldn't have obliged. But I am not any other person to you. Listen, I am ready to oblige you anything. You don't know me too well. But I've known you well enough. Don't bet on that. Hey, girl. Look, nothing about you would ever scare me. Nothing. In fact, I should be the one saying that uh, you do not know anything about me. <laughs> oh, really? Um, you'll be shocked if I told you. Um, anyway, let me make you breakfast. Driver to drive your taxi. Yeah, business in a week. No way. Um, by the way, you've not told me about your husband yet. You mean Stanley? 
Anyway, Stanley is not my husband, he's just a friend. But you practically live with him. Are you spying on me or something? No. No. Thanks for the drink. It's okay. What are we neighbors for? Well, even if this neighbor is a taxi driver, right? Oh no, that, that's not what I meant. I know, just kidding. I'm trying to pull your legs. Um, Mark, I've been wanting to ask. Why do you drive a taxi? I mean, a young, educated man like you driving a taxi. It's not common. I know, but you see, it all started after my NYSC. Lucky you. So tell me, um, your husband, what part of the country is he from? Husband? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's a story for another day. You ask too many questions. God. Anyway, come and take me home. I took your whole night. I'd say it's okay, forget it. Oh, I forgot to take the spec here along, and Stanley's not home. Well, if you don't mind, why don't you wait for him at my place until he comes back? If it's not, but of course it's not. It's my pleasure. So, you are the young man. 
man who wants to change the status quo. You've been a very bad boy, Jones. Very bad. You broke the number one rule in this town. You had an operation without informing me. Now, that makes me very mad. But I like your guts. I like you very much. So I am not going to kill you. But you will have to return the proceeds realized on that operation, which I lent is over 10 million naira. That's all it takes. I know, I know. That is why I am not asking for more. Even though God in heaven knows I deserve it. And Jones, tell your boys to get the money here by tomorrow morning. And I hope that for your sake, that you never try anything this stupid again. Why not, uh, why are you not putting up at the hotel? Oh, come on, Stanley. Why are you acting? You see, security reasons, basically. I... I came in with some money and um, I just decided to get a place and furnish it to my taste. You see, back there in the States, we had about this um, hotel attendants and the way they behave. They could be funny sometimes and they could just take your money and go away with it. 
and I don't want to be involved in such things. Yeah, you're right, you're right. But you see, um, it's, uh, it's everywhere. It's not only applicable to this country. It's applicable to all the hotels in the world. I mean, why are they always uh, emphasizing on this country as if uh, we're the worst? Okay, I see. You see, that's why I need you around me. You know the terrain and places around the town. You could just be of help for me. And besides, there's this money I'm expecting from my partner back there in the States. $250,000. Did you say $250,000? Yes. For the oil business, you know. It will soon arrive. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Um, tell me, are you going to be here throughout your stay? Yeah, sure. No one knows that, though, but I, I need to settle down before I tell my people. Yeah, you're right. You're right there. Yeah. So tell me, how is that business way back in the state? Cool, everything is just okay. You need to visit America, you know. <laughs> Don't worry, I will some of these days. I won't be staying long because, um, see, my fiance will be worried, you know. I've been away from home since morning, okay? <sighs> Come on, you must be joking. Where, where are you going to? Come on, Stanley, sit down. <laughs> sit down. Look, I, I think I have to go with you. Maybe from your house, we you know have to take to take me to all those places that is happening. Oh yeah. Besides, your car would be of great assistance for me, just to take me around this rough and boring city. <laughs> I don't mind paying for the services. <laughs> Did I hear you say um, boring city? Of course, you heard me right. I said rough as well. <laughs> don't worry, I know your problem. Maybe by the time I'll take you to those places where you eat. Uh, you see, Nkwobi and Brokata. You now know that this is a former state capital. <laughs> just like New York, you know. <laughs> I can just wait to go to those places. All okay. right. I'm waiting. Remember? My fiance is waiting, worrying. Okay. <laughs> um, just give me some time. All right. All right. No problem. Going out to have a drink with the boys. Can I come with you? Oh, no, baby. You see, it would have been lovely for you to come with me, but you see, it's a boys' thing, and uh, you find it boring. to be with you and you go rushing to her again. Uh, it's not like that, okay? Listen, I'll put that to you. I say that. I got a great time again okay, to be with you very soon. Please. Okay. You'll be at the memorial service, won't you? What memorial service? The one for Rosie's parents. She didn't tell me about it. It's exactly a year since her parents were killed and 
a memorial service is being held for them. And are you saying that uh, both parents did not die separately? No. They were both killed during the robbery. What robbery? You mean Rose didn't tell you about the robbery in which her parents were killed? Well, she might not have put it the way you're saying it right now. to make our time so we could talk about that and other things. What other things? No worry. We'll send it together very soon. What happened? Why are you home late? Stanley, I just asked you a question. Get off my case, girl. And what's that supposed to be? The fact that I am tired and I don't need your nagging tonight. Stanley, is it a crime I waited up for you? Oh yes, it's a crime. You don't have to wait up for me or babysit me at that. I was taking care of myself before you decided to move into this house. And I still will! when you decide to leave. What are you talking about? The fact that I hate liars. Liars! stop thinking about my parents and how they died. Sometimes I, I wonder if I'm doing the right thing. Listen, I know how you feel. But like I told you earlier, I don't think the best thing for you to do is live in the same house with your parents' killer. Oh really? What do you want me to do? To forget and forgive what they did to me? Never. Because I can't sit and watch them get away with it. Criminals are not angels. Do you realize what he could do to you if he finds out who you are? Look, I am not forcing you to help me. I can handle it myself. I don't need your help or any man at that. Pay the will and I swear it. Rose.
I have been trying to get Stanley on the phone, but to no avail. So as you leave here, I want you to look for him. I might be traveling to Ghana any moment from now for an important assignment. So I may not be around when you guys execute that operation. Be wise and careful while on an assignment. Once the cash is out, if I am not around, Lawrence, I hope you're listening. Yes, sir. Bring all the cash here and lock it up in my safe. The responsibility of guarding the safe is Lawrence's. Now, I want to sound a note of warning because the issue of betrayal can never be overflowed. As you all know, I have over 50 men spread across the length and breadth of the city, as in other cities nationwide. And they are all responsible only to me. I am the supreme law and order here. Honesty, discipline, and hard work are my primary concerns. Anyone who flouts my orders will pay the supreme penalty. I believe what happened to Jones is still fresh in our memories. Have I made myself clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can go. this business before I brought you in. Stanley is my main man, but I want you to watch him closely. Yes. Dogs eat dogs, understand? Yes, sir. Good. wanted to see you about an urgent issue. Lord, come into my house. Know you fully well that I will not be home. He has my number. Why didn't he call my mobile phone? He actually called on the landline. Oh. <laughs> no. Everything about him is different. Why call him my landline? The reason the battery is up because there always been charging. It's in the bedroom. In the bedroom. All right. about what you said as regards what happened to your family and you and I've resolved to stand by you no matter what I, I wish I had met you earlier in life maybe I would not have been consumed by so much hatred for those men that murdered my parents 
I roped myself in this situation because of that same hate. My darling, I'll help you overcome it, I swear. But first of all, we have to devise a plan whereby these men must turn against each other. That's the only way you can get back at them. on my side. I'll create a situation that will consume this evil man. Yes, once I attack them through their weakness, money, confusion will erupt among them and then the killing will follow. I swear I will revenge Ooh, when the time is right. I swear, I will revenge Ooh, with the last drop of my blood Stop for you, make me want to pull on your block and pop the seven Ready, any nigga front, I hold it steady Cock back, pop the ratchet and spill your spaghetti Ooh, Robert, I hold it steady Cock back, pop the ratchet and spill your spaghetti I kill all your soldiers for the my machete Ooh, We'll cut niggas like I ain't really like them And carve a nigga meat deep like I'm killed Hello, Chief. Yeah, I actually got your message. Yes. Do you want me to come around right now? Okay. What shall I do then? Okay. Okay. So that uh, temperamental amnesia. All right, Chief. That's my boy. Another one bites the dust. How did it go? Well, uh, it went well as planned. How much? 25 million. Just as Usuji said. And Usuji? Dead. Very dead. Good, good. Well done, boys. Well done. Stanley, Chief. make sure each of them gets a cut of 3 million. The rest Lawrence will pay into the account tomorrow. All right, Chief. And remember, keep a low profile until the heat is off. Sound. Just hurry up and 
change, okay? We already there. Thank you. Donald here wants to take us. Mm. Hi, Donald. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, and you? Fine, thank you. I'm fine. Okay. 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 Make it snappy. Isn't he called? Um, who is this guy? Yeah. Mm. He looks familiar. Mm -hmm. Oh, Philip, family friend. Something about this guy. You can just place it. There's something about this guy. Do not please her. Let me go home. Okay. All right. I'll be with you. You're late. Come on, man. This is just 11 o'clock. Come on. We're supposed to be there very early, and you know that. Uh, yeah, no worry. See, I, I, I suggest um, we call them first. Why? At least to be sure that the money is there. That's impossible. Look, if I get there and the money's not there, I bet you I'm going to sue the firm. <laughs> Donald, this is not the USA. This is Niger. Things don't work that way here. <laughs> Let's go. Now, I tell you, won't grab it. All right. See, you will see that. Thank you. Okay, can I have the details? the money to arrive or oh, tomorrow definitely oh by then all protocols must have been observed you have a nice day sir You're a good guy, there's no doubt about oh, that. Of course not. You see, um, I think we have to go to Hilltop Club tonight. You see, um, Stanley, I've been thinking about it. How do I reward you for all your assistance towards me? Come on, Don. Come on, Don. How can you be talking about that? Listen, listen, listen. What are we friends for? Okay, let's just talk about important things. Come on. I can do it for my enemy anyway. All right, all right. See, uh, see what's going to happen now. I think we just have to suspend all discussion till we get to the party. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Come on. You have not changed, man. Way back in school days, man. No. And, and very conservative. Too. You know. <laughs> yeah. I know. You have not changed. <laughs> oh my god. Um, you see, Stanley, I, I've just been thinking. Yeah, I don't want to Thank you very much. Thank you, man. Yes, as I was saying, seriously, I, I just think it's time for me to let my people know I'm in the country. Fine, my mom insisted that I return home to marry a home girl at, like she calls it what 
What's so funny? Uh, no, nothing, nothing. Actually, nothing. Okay, now tell me, what seems to be the problem? Nothing really. It's just that um, I think I have to see them sooner than I planned. Or what do you think? Uh, well, uh, I'd advise that uh, we finish the business that you have at hand first, okay, before rushing back to the village to see her, so that you will not be rushing back to face an abandoned business. Hey, man, what are you thinking of? Hey. No, listen, listen, that old man has not seen you for years, so it's better you sort yourself out before going to see her. I guess you're right, dude. But I just have to settle down here for myself. So where are we going tonight? It's interesting that you're, you know, you're getting used to the groove, you know. <laughs> What's that supposed to be? You know, you're getting used to the groove. But before we uh, go out tonight, I have to rush back home to inform my girl that I will not be coming back home tonight. You know how she behaves. You know, I don't um, want anybody to cry on my neck. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> ha! The door. <laughs> is ready exactly yeah the same place says 20 minutes 20 30 minutes we'll be there yet okay bye bye i told you i wanted to pick something from auntie's place with this money is it safe can i come with them oh, why not nobody knows who are carrying any money it's just briefcase just speak up on the hey, it's Get down! Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. I overheard Lawrence threatening you this afternoon and he sounded serious. Yes. What else do you hear? Nothing. So what was the quarrel all about? 
nothing. It's, it's not naturally. It's, um, it's not something that I can't take care of. It's uh, an empty threat. And as long as uh, it's not coming from Chief, it's as empty as empty can be. It's all right. It's just that I don't like the way the so-called Lawrence was... Yeah, it's okay. Don't bother yourself. Okay? You see, I know Lawrence too well. If he comes here tomorrow after taking some brandy, he will actually forget that he said something like this. Yet, uh, I know that uh, Lawrence is trouble, but I can't handle him. Okay? Hey, come on. Anyway, thanks for the concern anyway. Um, do you know what we're going to do now? Hmm? Mm -hmm. We're going to bed. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's okay. <coughs> oh, sorry, my dear. Sorry. Bless you. This is just the beginning. It's payback time.
go now. I'll be back, okay? Do, do, do you have to? Must you? I mean, must you go? We could run away. We could leave. Listen, leave. Listen, Let's... listen. It, it's not all about the money. I love you, okay? I love you too. And okay. I'll be waiting. It's okay. I'll be back. Not leave this house right now, okay? See, if if we leave this house, they will think that we've stolen the money and disappeared. Okay, what you're going to tell them? Tell them that something came up from the village. They called me and I had to dash down to the village. That I will be back, I will, I will be back tomorrow. Okay, just explain that to them. Then if they go, you call me. Then I will tell you where I am. Then we 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 have come from there together, please. Okay, Lawrence, I must kill Lawrence first. Let me go away and organize myself and come back. It's okay, but please don't do anything irrational. Okay? I know, Sudan. Please, you know, okay? Because if they catch me here right now, I am dead. Would you want to lose a darling? Please, okay? Mm. Take care. Yes. I swear. I, I, 
think I have to leave because I can't sit here and watch you die in the hands of those wicked men. Listen, you are going nowhere. You have to stay here with me and we'll fight this battle together. We'll have to fight and conquer. Laurent must bring back that money. He must be brought to book. the strategy. No way! Run away for what? Run for, 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 for something I, I know nothing about? Why should I run away? Why the perpetrator is gallivanting up and down, doing party, buying cars, enjoying the loot? Why I'm on the run? No way. I am staying back here to fight. And you're going to do that with me. You're going nowhere. I can't, I I hope all is well. Yes, Chief. The money. Let me see it. If we wait long enough, the box will open itself. But unfortunately, I don't have that much time. So please, open the box now. Chief, please, uh, I'd like Lawrence to help me open the box.
meaning of all this nonsense? Where is the money? Chief, Lawrence is in the best position to answer that question. How? How? This is how. Where did you take the money to? Bring it out right now. Stanley, are you mad? How dare you pull out the gun in my presence? Will you put that thing right back? Sorry, Chief. I will. Only when he answers the question. Stop the right now. Um, uh, Chief and Lori just left my house now. Yes, I, I, I am on my way to the hotel. Okay. 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 If 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 you get there, wait for me. All right. All right. Bye bye then. Colin? Um, my... I was talking to my hairdresser. I can't come to this. I called to inform her. Oh, it's alright. It's alright, God. I'm thinking of how to dispose those dead bodies inside the house. Oh, my God.
Didn't you hear this phone ring? You know before, okay? Had an accident that you're a nurse. I'll take it. But don't you think it's it's going to answer the damn phone, damn you? Now tell him. Uh, the owner of the phone had an accident. I'm a nurse. And I was talking to my aunt, but I was trying to reach her, but the, li the line is not going through.
payback for all I did for you? God! And you forgot so easily! Please forgive me, I'm so sorry. You tricked me into it. Shut your mouth! If you open your mouth one more time, I'm going to shoot you! Look how you made me kill my friends! For nothing! All because of this, this, this girl nigga! Stanley, I'm sorry. Hey, hey just sh shut up there. Listen, you are as guilty as he is. I'm going to shoot the both of you. Slowly. Please, I'm so sorry. you for everything you've done, okay? I can even give you the money, okay? Good. Now, I'm going to go down there and see who is that done. Do you understand? No more tricks. You promise. You promise. There's no chief, no Lawrence. What is going on? Dan, you won't believe it. I called Chief's line and the phone was switched off. I'm suspecting a hidden agenda within him and his nephew. Maybe they don't need us anymore. the nurse you talked with before. Yeah, your friend had an accident and he's still unconscious. Could you please come to Heaven's Gate Hospital so you could sign some documents as to commence treatment on him? Okay, okay, I'm on my way. Alright, bye. I'm on my way, okay. Stan, that same nurse I, I talked with before, now she just called me back and she wanted me to come sign some papers to enable them to start treatment on Lawrence. Had an accident. accident? Yes, you do. Let's go together. 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 Let
Girls, come. Oh, you've packed your things. Where are you going to? No way. Once beaten, twice shy. any space in my heart for you again. There is no place. Um, but I, I thought you'd forgiven me. So all this while you think you can drive me like a wild bull and laugh at me? There is no place in my heart for you again. Stanley, please forgive me. I'm, I'm very sorry. I told you he tricked me into it. Please. He tricked you and you fell. You're a fool. Now say your last prayer. I'm sorry. I thought you'd forgiven me. Oh yes, I forgive you. And that's why I am going to kill you before your gold digger boyfriend. Stanley, please don't kill me. <laughs> to turn to. Now you have the guards to turn against me. Stanley, you have no right to accuse me of anything. Because you and your kind deprived me of all I had. You killed my parents and made me homeless. Who are you? The one whose dreams you turned into a nightmare. Now, where is the money? What money? The dollars. Don't lie to me. What money are you talking about? Can you ask me a question? <laughs> please, please. Now, she's next. Where is the money? Get out! Where is the money? Is. Get out! Get out! Inside the room. By the left hand side. By the bedside. Beautiful. Check it out. We'll be tired when you lie to me. Sent? It wasn't in my place to argue. Will I not argue with the will to kill you? Rose. Rose, please don't do this. Why? Why? When he took the very essence of my life, why should he leave? Bring your parents back to life again. 
Rather, it will place a big burden in your heart. Please, just, just let him go. His sins will weigh him down. Please, don't soil your hands with his blood. If you love me, let him go. And give me the gun. Thank <laughs> you. 